Welcome to the Mitch Flower Power Battle Royale. This is actually my second one. We have all of these racers, 37 runners. Top 20 move forward in race one, guys. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am so nervous for these runners. Okay, we're gonna start with Teague. We have Darth, we have Windwards, and we have Donald Duck. Not everyone is specifically racing each other perfectly, but what's happening is that the way it's working is kind of like Fall Guys. And what we want to do is we want to have the top 20 of the 37 racers are going to progress to the next race. And then after that, it's going to be the top 15 and then the top 10. And then like, I want to say the top eight and then the top four and then that's it. So you have to work your way down. Not every single race that you do has to be perfect. The hand stages in this category play a massive, massive role. So no matter how good you are, you could get all three hands and come in last. No matter how bad you are, you could get no hands and come in second, right? So it's gonna be crazy. All rounds are played today, yes. You see Teak's already going for a safe strat. He knows that this is a very, very big uh, compromise situation. He doesn't need to play perfectly. He just needs to beat out 17 other people of the 37 people. Uh, when we hit world eight, we are gonna switch to other people. The way this route works is you do one, 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 two, one, three, grab the warp whistle. Then you do one, four, grab the warp whistle, go straight to world eight and beat the game. And that's what everyone needs to do. So far, every runner is in the fortress right now. That is incredible. Every runner is in the fortress right now. That is incredible. Okay. We're going to try and avoid doing too many scene changes. Ooh, Darth with a little bit mix up there. Um, out of these four windows. Wow. Windward is just on pace with Teeks right now. These, this is crazy. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to pause Teeks. We're going to go over to Stewie. And we're going to watch Stewie Carmen, Angelic J, G, uh, JT Knot, and Kiyu Volka who are already also in World 8 right now. These runners are doing a great job. When everyone gets close to Bowser's castle, like literally after Bowser dies, we are gonna go straight to the race time room and watch everyone finish as it goes. Not the best and most entertaining thing when it comes to the auto scrollers here, but it gives runners time to think about what's going on. It gives them time to calm down a little bit. World 1 is very, very, very stressful when it comes to uh, racing in Mario 3. Uh, anyone who does one death is, is just knows they're instantly gonna be behind. One thing to note as well is that you have to keep your tail because you wanna get your fire flower in the next stage on the Navy, which keeping your tail makes it very easy to get your fire flower if you've been practicing the fly strategy. If you've not been practicing the fly strategy, it might be a little bit harder for you. You don't need your tail to get Fire Flower just with the mushroom. It's a little bit more chaotic. So these runners are just about finishing up the first auto scroller. Takes about a minute and something. Everyone seems to be doing pretty good. We've watched eight runners so far. Uh, when we finish the Navy, we're gonna switch to the next group of people. We're not gonna be able to watch everyone cross the hands, uh, but we're gonna be able to watch a handful of people cross the hands, which is gonna be pretty good. We'll try and give everyone as much uh, as much screen time as we can, uh, but we can't we can't do them all. We can't do them all. We have four multi links going, so we have 16 streams up on my PC right now with you guys. A handful of people cross the hands. I know. So watch Stewie. So Stewie's gonna grab P speed so he can fly and grab the fire flower. Now that is top tier strat. As you can see, Kuvolka was unable to grab the fire flower. We're gonna see Angelic Jade try and go for the oh, Angelic Jade is opting out of the fire flower. Gonna play a little consistent. JT not here also gonna go for the P-Speed strategy so he can fly up, grab the Fire Flower. Makes it very, very uh, easy for you. But that strat is also, I wanna say like a C-tier strat. I'm embarrassed that the Mario 3 community took 15 years to develop that strategy. No shame, no shame in the Mario 3 uh, community. I, I'm guilty of it myself. I ran this category for like seven years before even trying something like that, so. So it is definitely a C-tier strategy performed at an S-tier level. So it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing for the Mario 3 community. But uh, as as uh, these runners are on the tank here, we're just going to go ahead and give it a pause and give uh, some other people some screen time. We got Rupert here. Uh, we got Jay Scarborough. We got Ice Ball. Again, it looks like Bobukai had a little bit of a slip up. Either he gone slow or uh, had taken a death. Small Mario. So it looks like... Rupert, Jay Scarborough, and Ice Ball are gonna approach the hands. You can see Ice Ball gaining a lot of time with that Fire Flower kill. You see that? Ice Ball entered third, 
It's coming out on top, coming out of the, the battle here. Look at that, crazy. All right, here comes the hands. Here comes the hands. Best part of the run. Best and worst part of the run. This is so exciting. Okay. Ice Ball gets hit with first. Rupert. Oh, Jay Scarbo. Everyone gets hit with the hands. Everyone gets hit with the hands. Well, they're in the hand stages. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it looks like Teak might have got no hands. It looks like Windward got two hands. Looks like Stewie got some hands. Oh, everyone is getting hit with the hands right now. Everyone is getting hit with the hands. Rupert getting hit with two hands. Wow, Jay Scarbo with two hands. Ice Ball looks like he's got the two hands. Oh my goodness. Um, let's go over to Teeks. It looks like Teeks might have got no hands. Let's see. Let's see, we're gonna go back to Teeks. Sorry I did some quick switches there, but I just wanted to see the hands for every stream. So it was a it was a fast-paced switch there. Looks like Darth got hands. Looks like Donald got hands. Did Teeks get no hands? Teeks got no hands! Now, you might think that that's really good. You might think, you know what? Wow, he got no hands, that's great. However, if you're gonna get no hands in a wrong war battle royale like this, in a wrong war fall guys, then you're gonna wanna do that on your third or fourth race. You don't wanna do that on your first race. So we'll see how that goes. Teeks is uh, making it look pretty easy right now. It's not that easy, but it is, it is what it is. It happens. Ah, Stu got the two hands, but remember, all he has to do is beat out 17 other people, and trust me, somebody already forfeited, so that's that's easy. I think somebody already forfeited. Um, and yeah, here we go. JT not with a beautiful P speed strategy. Stewie is gonna also go for a beautiful P speed strategy. Yo, the turn back list fire shoot. Very nice. Yo, I I uh Kavolka, I, I can't it makes me think of Seinfeld. The Kavorka? The Kavolka? Dude, very nice, very nice. I, I, what I really like about this is that there is a lot of new runners that I'm seeing for the first time. And I really like that Angelic Jade is actually taking the conservative strategies to be safe. So this is uh, really cool. Top 20 people are going to progress forward. JT not using that star, not have to, you do not have to worry about accidentally using a warp whistle. Uh, Kavolka having a little bit of a mess up on that 8-2. Uh, let's go ahead and switch it to the last screen here. We got Supersonic. Okay, we got High Flyers Audio. Okay, we got Gungeon Lover coming in on the Fortress. We got Shadow finishing 8-2. We got High Flyer finishing 8-2 uh, as well. Supersonic entering the Fortress. As you can see on Supersonic's uh, live split, he is behind by a little bit from what he's used to. Obviously, most likely because he got hands and his PB doesn't have any. <gasps> oh, that was close. You don't. You definitely don't want to take damage. This is pretty, pretty nutty here. Looks like everyone here is getting the fire kill. All right. So most people are approaching the last auto scroller. So let's go ahead and see what do we got here. We got Stu on the last uh, super tank, looking good. All right. We have. Rupert, Jay Scarbro. Ooh, looks like Fobukai might have to. We might be getting a, uh, a forfeit here. Going for the pause strat. You're not going to make a lot of progress when you press that pause button. Trust me. I know. If anyone watched that summoning salt video, I pressed pause in one of my 100% records. It did not work out pretty well for me. So, but it looks like most people are on the super tank. Uh, we got Teeks in Bowser's Castle right now. Um. So, since Teeks is at the end, we know Teeks is going to finish here. He's got a juicy, juicy time. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to go to the race time. Right after Teeks kills Bowser, we're going to go to the race time window. And we're going to watch these runners finish. And we're going to see what place they come in. It's going to be, uh... It's going to be pretty interesting. So there's Teeks right now. First room, who's going to come in first? We got a few forfeits down here. So top 20, that's what we're looking for right now. Top 20. Right here, right here. Did Teeks get sub 11? Oh, Teeks with a 1055 first place. Very nice, dude. Very nice for Teeks. 1055, Budsy in second place with the 1103. We're looking for the top 20 players. A lot of people got hands. I think Teeks is one of the only people who got no hands here. Gungeon Lover, the 1151. We have 11 spaces left. Let's go ahead and take a quick look and see. Rupert's about to finish. Jay Scarborough's about to finish. Ice Ball is coming in clutch. Angelic Jade is about to finish too, and we have Supersonic. Yo, let's go back to the room. Holy crap, they're coming in hot. We have five spaces left, guys. 
Maintain spicy chicken. Oh, who's it gonna be? We have three spots left for these runners. We have three spots. Mondi with the 18th windward and Shrek with the 20. That is the top 20 players that are gonna progress. Unfortunate for Donald, Angelic, Darth, Brosis, Gnome, Scarbro. Damn, very nice try to all the runners out there. Race number two, Battle Royale for $420 USD cash prize for the winner. All right, we're gonna start off with our winner, Teeks. All right, so Teeks won the first round, came first place with a 10.55. Okay, yeah, 1055. He got no hands on that one. And as you can see, he is not doing crazy safe strategies. I like what Gungeon Lover's doing with the mushroom strategy. Also taking bottom route. Go for the bottom route. It's honestly not that bad of an idea, bottom route. Now, normally in a battle royale, or sorry, normally in world record attempts, the Hammer Brothers uh, play a huge role in this uh, category's world record. But in this whole battle royale thing, you can just say, heck off, Hammer Brothers. You do not have to worry about them at all. Uh, Gungeon Lover coming in clutch with the 1-2 two, uh, one, two strategy. Everyone's looking pretty clean in this world one. But as you see, uh, Gungeon Lover will not have to grab the mushroom here. Is Gungeon Lover going to go for the safe strategy? Yes, yes, that is a very good idea for 1-3. Uh, you knock the green turtle shell at the start, and it's just it's just so good. It's so good. Teeks not getting exactly what he wanted from the white block. Macobra getting a better white block than uh, the other three runners here, but Teeks is going to enter first here. Uh, Macobra did a great job there. This is a very tight race. Obviously, between these four runners, it is going to come down to the hands. 100% it's going to come down to the hands. So let's see how clean we get some Fortress. No orb jumps. I respect that. I wouldn't either. You take damage. That's big time loss. That's big time loss. Uh, the good thing about this category is from the beginning of the game until world... Or sorry, from the beginning of the game until the hand stages, you can take at least 10 to 15 seconds of mistakes. But the Fortress, oh man, that can cause way too much time mistakes. Macobra trying to get early hammer in world one. The same Warpless. He's trying though. All right, we're going to pause Teeks. We're going to go up to the next one. We got Stewie. It looks like uh, Budsy is the trailing behind a little bit with, uh, I can't quite see. Okay, that's Neo Shazam. Neo Shazam is up. Yeah, not sure what happened with Budsy. Looking pretty good. Like, like I said before, uh, this is probably the slowest part of the Battle Royale. However, this is really, really good for some runners. This is really good for commentary. Uh, it lets us ask a lot of questions. It lets us see who's in the lead. This is actually a good opportunity to see uh, who do we got here. We're going to use True Hyper, actually. Is that... Did we really just hear that? Literally the moment he says, Mike is muted, and we just hear him snorting. I don't know. Was that drugs? What was that? Does he have allergies? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go over to Rupert now. Hopefully we don't get any snorting going on. Okay. And we have uh, this here. Very nice. We got Maze Haze on this one. Looks like everyone is on the auto scroller. So we're going to go back to uh, Stewie here. <laughs> Definitely not drugs. It was not drugs. Just commentators jokes. Commentators jokes. All right. We had, a, we had a mild slip up, but it looks like most of our runners got their leap with their fire flower. It looks like Budsy's going to grab his. Oh, and Neo Shazam took damage there. Not going to be able to grab. That's going to be a fairly big mistake in a situation like this. Let's actually switch over to our other runners here. We're going to mute Stewie. We're going to go over here. Looks like we should be good for Rupert. We should be good for Rupert. His, his audio is a little quiet. Let's turn it up a bit there. Nice. All right. At these four runners, what are the hands going to be like? You can grab Fire Flower on hand three, but the idea is to not have any of the hands. So you want to be ready to not get no hands. It gets very, very nerve wracking when you get no hands. So it looks like out of these four, True Hyper Mario is going to be grabbing across the hands first. Grabbing, I say. Uh, I'm just assuming everyone's going to get grabbed. So let's see how this is going to go here. Uh, we got... We got one hand. We got one hand for Rupert. We got one hand for High Flyer so far, but it's hand number two. And we have... Oh, JT Not with hand number three. That's really good. If you are going to grab that hand stage, you definitely wanted to see hand number three. Uh, let's stick around to see if that helps him a lot here. True Hyper gets grabbed by the second hand. So that puts JT Not in the lead. Rupert gets grabbed by hand number three. That's going to put him in second out of these four runners. High Flyer's out of there. So it's going to be High Flyer, JT Not, uh, potentially Rupert. Let's see if uh, True Hyper gets pulled in by all three hands. 
Oh, Driver does not. So that's going to put Rupert in behind. All right. So let's go ahead and mute Rupert. Let's go to our other runners here. Uh, we have Kavoka. We have Disaster. We have Old Man Beardy Locks. Old Man Beardy Locks still killing it. Made it in the top 20. Only person playing on the Super Nintendo version right now. But it looks like, look at them all right here. They are all in the same place. Uh, I am very excited to see um, what hands they got. Did they all get the same hands? What happened? Looks like Maze Haze is actually quite ahead by a solid 20 seconds. So maybe he got less hands. We're going to find out here. Okay, Disaster has no Fire Flower though. So that's not going to be good. No hands for Maze Haze. No hands for Maze Haze. That is incredible. Let's take a look for Disaster. Maze Haze is going to use that star there. Disaster got one hand. Old Man Beardy Locks got one hand. And uh, Kavolka, or Oh no, Maze Haze with the death. He gets no hands and then dies. That is 100% the pressure of hands. Uh, Kavolka got two hands here. So let's switch it over. Let's go back over to Teeks here. Looks like Teeks is only an 8-1. Teeks might have got pulled in uh, by one or two hands. Uh, he he might have looked like everyone here is in 8-1. Gungeon Lover got three hands for Gungeon Lover. That is awful. You do not want three hands. You do not want to see three hands. That that sucks. But it happens. Uh, Macobra right on Teeks' tail. Teeks is going to have to keep it clean. Keep peace speed though. Gungeon Lover with a very beautiful peace speed right there. Super Sonic coming in on 8-2 as well. Teeks finishing up 8-2. Macobra just finishing up 8-2. Loses his peace speed though. He's going to bleed a bit of time there. And Teeks saves his star for the fortress. He's going for the old school strat. Wow, Super Sonic going for the old school style of... Wow. The old school 8-2. All right, let's switch it over to our other runners. We got Stewie Cartman already on the fortress. Gonna have to grab Fire Flower. GT Ace is in the fortress as well. That is really good. Bunzi and uh, Neo Shazam are both on 8-2. Neo Shazam by behind by quite a bit, it looks like. Stewie Cartman hitting that P-switch. It's going to have to come through. You don't want to miss these door transitions or accidentally go into doors. That is going to be really bad for you. Nice. Good good duck under the spikes. Looking good. Yeah, Budsy with a very, very nice level. GTA also with a nice level. Keeping it very, very close here. A couple bumps on the overworld for Shazam, but not too bad. All right, let's switch it over to the next runners here. Who do we got? We got Rupert, JT Not. I think JT Not might be one of the first people entering Super Tank. It's either JT Not or Teeks. I'm not entirely sure. But once we enter Bowser's Castle, we're going to switch over to the Race Time GG and see who. Only five people are getting knocked out to make it 10, or sorry, to make it 15 races from here on out. Not not a lot going on in the Super Tank. Let's switch it over. Ooh, Old Man Beardy Locks coming in late on this. We know Maze Haze took a death. The Maze Haze is right behind him. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened. This is crazy. Only five runners get knocked out here. So you definitely don't want to be the five. It looks like Teeks has finished. The Super Tank is going to go on Bowser's Castle here. Um, let's just quickly look here. JT Knot is also entering. All right, so we're going to use Teeks as a reference here. Sorry for the quick switches. Just had to take a double look. I wanted the time getting into the race time GT uh, good enough here. So Teeks, a uh, little flubby. I, again, if he's got a, if he's at a 1045, he definitely got pulled in by some hands. All right, Teeks going in with that Bowser kill. All right, he gets the Bowser kill. All right, the anticipation. Let's see what we get here. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, GTA with the forfeit. That's one person out. You only need to be four people. Teeks coming in first place. JT Dog coming in second place. 11.28 to 11.30. Damn, that's crazy. High Flyer coming in third place with the 11.35. True Hyper Mario with seventh place. Disaster Caddy with the eighth place. Made it in. We have four places left here. Spicy Chicken coming in 12th. We have three places left. Maze 13th. Neo Shazam 14th and Super Sonic. Oh, dude, congratulations. Super Sonic takes the 15th. We're going to go ahead and cancel that race and we're going to get ready for the round three. Uh, Teeks came in first, so we're going to start with Teeks again on this one. Very nice. Okay. Wait, hold on. My bad. It's a, don't worry. I fixed it. I forgot Spyro's soundtrack is like super delayed. We got it though. We got it. All right, Teeks is coming in hot. Again, as, as the races and rounds go on, you think people would be developing 
more and more safety strats but it doesn't look like these runners are doing full-on safety strats movement of one for jt not going to put him in the lead against teeks right now macobra also getting a movement of one it looks like okay looks like everyone ooh high flyer with a little bit of a body rub there don't let don't let that beat you up though high flyer that's not a bad thing that's not a bad thing. Uh, JT not getting some buffering. Not going to help him stay in the lead with that buffering right there. We're Uh-oh, JT not. Uh-oh. Okay. Teeks going for the mushroom grab. Macobra got the mushroom grab. Highflyer already got the mushroom, so he does not need to grab that mushroom grab. I was kind of hoping one person might have forgot about the warp whistle. So that, that would have been pretty funny. Getting to the fortress, realizing you have one warp whistle. Yeah, that'd be embarrassing. That'd be very embarrassing. Uh, it's a good thing JT's not internet will not affect his uh, race time, GG time. But it does look like he might be aware of his internet and it could be throwing him off a little bit. Technology, right? I mean, that does suck. We got the internet leg. Okay, Teeks is going to grab a nice grab there. Again, some safety strats in the Fortress, which I am a strong believer in. I think uh, safety strats in uh, a format like this would be really good. So it looks like each runner except JT not due to a couple issues. Internet is making him look like he's further behind, but there's not much we can do about that. So we're going to go ahead and mute Teeks, go on to the next runners. We got Stewie Cartman, Rupert. Oh my God, everyone is just all ready for World 8. Wow, look at that triple World 8 entry at the same time. Look at that, all three runners. This is going to be tough. Only 12 people can progress. Looks like all runners, they have their tails. It looks like True Hyper is ahead of his PB. We're going to see if the other runners are also here. We're going to go ahead and turn this one down a little bit here. It's uh, it's actually a lot harder to manage um, like 30 streams than you would think. But I'm glad we're doing audio and we're not doing like game music. Back to what's important. Looks like all the runners are pretty much in the same spot. I think Spicy Chicken Boy is uh, dragging behind a little bit. Or maybe he's ahead. No, nope, he's dragging. Let's go ahead and pause this one. See where these three runners are. We're going to go ahead and turn this one down again. Got to get the volume right here. You don't know what these runners are going to do. Supersonic going to be done the uh, the tank here. Wow, tail swipe and the damage. What? Interesting. I think <clears throat> I think he wanted to take intentional damage there. Let's see if that damage boost for Supersonic paid off. It looks like it did. He's comfortable with his strats. That's what I love to see. All right, let's see if Neo Sam can get it. He messed it up the last time. Oh, that is going to set him back a lot. That is going to be a big big setback let's give jt not a quick pause and press play looks like his internet's kind of jerking him around a little bit i just want to get that refresh right so we get a better idea but it looks like he is refreshed back where he should be um high flyer macobra all of them in the exact same spot here this is crazy so we're gonna be able to get a good idea of the hands here all right here we go so it looks like we're gonna watch teeks cross the hands first we don't know exactly who's ahead and who's behind by that much but we'll see if we use their timers, we can see just seconds. All right, Teeks is going to go first. Oh, hand number one. That is not what you want to see. That is, oh, and the damage. JT not gets pulled in by hand two. Cobra gets pulled in by hand one. High Flyer gets pulled in by hand three. That is exactly what High Flyer wants to see. That is going to put him up a lot. But if we quickly pause and we go to the next stream, we got to hit. Oh, man, we got all hands here. We got all hands from these runners. Hands too. Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy. All hands from these runners. Oh, Rupert takes a death in hand one. Then gets pulled in by hand two. I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad here. Okay. Nobody. Did anyone get no hands? Oh my god. Mario 3 sucks so much. We're going to leave it on uh, this page right here so we can see. I, I don't know who got past hands and who didn't, but that is embarrassing for Mario 3. We're going to see what hands Maze Haze got here. More like typical. Yeah, that's, that's very typical for Mario 3, that crap. Maze Haze with one hand, pretty good. Supersonic with one hand, also very good. Is this it? Neo Shazam, is this it? Did everyone get pulled in by hands? Did everyone get pulled in by hands? Come on, Neo Shazam, you're the last one. Oh, dude, everyone got pulled in by hands. That is unfortunate. Oh, it looks like Teex is just starting this airship almost. I don't know if Teex is going to be able to bring this back. 
This didn't even come down to the hands. Everyone got pulled in by the hands. This is a yikers right now. Well, no, Teex has done the airship. Yeah, I, I think Teex is actually in last right now, but we're not sure. We're not sure. Let's not get too ahead. Uh, let's switch over to the next one. Yeah, see, Stewie's just starting 8-1 as well. Rupert is... No, no, Rupert is in last right now. True Hyper Mario finishing up 8-2. Disaster is also finishing up 8-2 right now, about halfway through it. Okay, let's switch over to the next one. Ooh, didn't take damage. Everyone is on 8-2 in this window here. Everyone is on 8-2 in this window right now. Only three people can go. Oh, Kavalka taking that damage. Gonna have to regrab Fire Flower. Just bleeding, bleeding time here, ever so slightly. Very nice. Everyone getting pretty good with doors. No early P speeds. That's okay. A little bit more of an advanced strategy. Okay, getting in the doors. You really gotta watch out not accidentally pressing up. Okay. Okay, very nice. Everyone is on Super Tank right now, right? Oh, we got all these runners on Super Tank. Teeks is just finishing the Fortress. Macobra finishing the Fortress. I'm sorry, I'm trying to say everything right. There's just so many names and so many windows and so many people. That's how we can make Battle Royale 3 better. We can, uh, we can get all the names right. This round was so insane, guys. Everyone got pulled in by the hands. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna switch over. Okay, multiple people ready for Bowser's Castle. Ooh, we already have Maze Haze in Bowser's Castle right now. Oh, JT not with the clip. That is gonna help him so much right there. Yo, hi, I, I know I'm saying Maze Haze, high flyer, high flyer. High flyer 28, he's in the lead right now. I don't, I don't know who's exactly in the lead, but this is crazy. Okay, let's go over. Let's go over. Bowser dead. Who's gonna be first, second, third? First place is gonna be High Flyer with the 1127 in first place. Probably was not expecting it. Came in clutch. JT not second. Hyper Mario third. Maytay's fourth. This is incredible. Windward six. Track seven. Oh my god, what happened to Stu? Did Stewie take damage? Stewie definitely took damage, right? He took damage on Bowser. There's no way he didn't. Oh, Stewie in eighth. Teeks with ninth. McCover with 10th, oh my god, what even happened? We have two spots left right here. Disaster coming in 11th, and the last person is going to be who? Who is the last person? I cannot believe that that happened. That is crazy. Rupert, that's 12th, what? What even happened? Rupert was 100% in last. I think Kavolka, Neosham, and Spicy must have taken damage. Where are they? Yeah, looks like looks like Neo took some damage. Yep, looks like Spicy didn't take damage, but had a little bit of a slip up. Crazy. Let's get the next one going. Good luck, everyone. I am going to remove myself right now. You guys are ready. Type one if your ass is being blown out because this race is so freaking good. <laughs> Maze Hayes was the winner. Or no, High Flyer was the winner. So we're going to start with these, these audios. Oh, the double bump at the start. Do not like the idea of the double bump at the start. Uh, the audio is in the bottom right, everyone. Maze Haze is the bottom right audio. We got JT Knot, High Flyer, True Hyper Mario, and Maze Haze all clearing out the World 1. Neck and neck in World 1. Maze Haze is behind by like 11 frames right now with all those bumps. Probably more. Double bump. Probably like half a second. Tompa nose. Tompa nose. Okay, very nice. Yeah, don't forget to get your gambles in as well. Everyone clearing out one, two, nobody getting frame ruled. Couple of Hammer Brother movements, a little weird. Um, only eight people can progress in this 12. Out of 12 people, only eight can move forward. So we're gonna lose eight players. This one is serious. A lot of these runners are working really hard. A lot of these runners are practicing. A lot of these runners have been practicing for the last three weeks to a month. So this is uh, this has been pretty intense. Most runners here on this first page have not made um, too big of mistakes. Like like they're all within hand range. That's the that's the one thing you need to look out for when watching uh, any percent no wrong races or just like the battle royale format in these races is that. Um, it's all within the hands range, right? It doesn't matter as long, I mean, unless 
both of you get no hands, then yeah, the tiny mistakes matter. But when does that ever happen, right? All right, so it looks like everyone got through World 1 pretty easily there. We got Stu with his like super quiet audio. Looking good though. Oh, Track! What? Guys, what happened to Track? Does anyone know? That is a free race win. Uh, let me take a quick look. Oh, poor track. All right. Got a forfeit. Um, not sure exactly what happened. That is very unfortunate. Very sorry track for that. Uh, not much you can do about that though. Right on, okay. Ooh, Rupert not going for D-leg strats. Look at all that leg. Uh, Teeks is gonna be the first one to enter the pipe there. Okay. Gonna get that chest. Disaster taking that damage. I think that's intentional. Same with Rupert. I think intentional. Okay um, Let's see. Uh, I think Teeks is gonna go for the fly strategy if he yeah, look he's positioning Very nice he's gonna get the fly. Oh, we all I feel like he almost didn't get it Okay, and he's safe. All right, let's see if what we got here. Oh, high flyer 28 got the got it. Hi for Mario is next. Maytay's got it. JT not has it Come on hyper. Oh no, that is going to be really, really bad for True Hyper. That is going to be really bad for True Hyper. That is going to be the make or break. Everyone has Fire Flower right now. Uh, Stewie right here. Stewie, oh no. Stewie did not get it. Depending on how the hands go, it is everyone else's game except Stewie and True Hyper. And Track has already gone down. So that is three people potentially right now. But you guys know how the hands work. It would be very unfortunate to see Stewie get no hands because he's just going to lose seconds on boom booms and re-grabbing fire flowers but it'll still ultimately help them all right here we go now it's time for the hands oh wow that sinkage right there for windward and supersonic look at these go very nice stewie with these stomps the sounds of shame that little squeak sound supersonic and windward good luck you two and what are we doing oh they both get pulled in my hand number two stewie <laughs> that is great for stewie he gets pulled in by one hand, but he gets to grab the Fire Flower. Uh, let's see what everyone else got. Everyone else got pulled in by hands here. Uh, what what hand stayed? Oh, dude, True Hyper is not having a good time. He's on hand one. JT not get pulled in by two hands. High Flyer gets pulled in by two hands as well. Maze Hand gets pulled in by two hands as well. What is happening? It looks like Rupert, Disaster, and Macobra. Did they all get no hands or something? It looks like Teek's got two hands as well. It looks like they got pulled in by one, maybe. One, maybe. So far, everyone's gotten hands. We don't know about Macobra, Rupert, or Disaster. Let's see what Macobra got. No hands for Macobra. Oh my gosh. Rupert right behind. Macobra's the only one who got no hands. This is his game to win. First place. If he can, if he can just get through it. If he can just get through it. This is hurt his game. Uh, Rupert got one hand, and I assume Disaster got one hand. Yes. All right, everyone got one or two hands or three, except for Macobra. This is Macobra's game to win. Look at how far ahead he is, right? Already on A2 right now. Let's go ahead and pause this, move over here. High Flyer, Maze Haze, JT Not. Ooh, this is intense. True Hyper Mario just cannot keep those power ups. Cannot keep those power ups. JT Not with the bump strats. That's scary, man. I like it, though. I like the bump strats. I used to do the bump strat. All right, everyone's having a clean A1. Maze Haze, a little, a little flub. Oh, he's not, he's not going to be able to go for the uh, the Fire Flower shoot. Is he going to get early P-Speed, though? Oh, he just missed. He got some despawns, though. He got some pretty comfy despawns, making it a little bit easier for him. True, Look at true Hyper Mario catch right up the Maze Haze there. Yeah, I don't think Maze Haze wanted to see those uh, those mistakes. They're not going to be good for him. All right, we got Teeks and Macobra. Look at Macobra already almost done the fortress here. The power of no hands. <gasps> Macobra takes the damage. That is not what you want to see. That is almost the same time loss as a hand right there. Taking the damage, wasting the time, uh, going through these doors, doing the P-Switch timer. That is just a rip sag there for that lead there with the with the no hands. Uh, he... He is still in the lead, but I wouldn't say it's a cozy lead anymore. All right, let's uh, let's switch over as these runners finish. Let's go back to the JT Knot, High Flyer, Maze Haze, True Hyper. They're all in the fortress looking pretty good. Let's go to the other page we haven't watched much of right here. We got the track, Supersonic. We got Windward, Supersonic, and Stewie. Is Stewie going to the tank? Wow, Stewie is ahead very nicely it looks like stewie was able to clean up after getting pulled in by hand three 
And then grabbing this fire flower back. Ooh, Windward missing that doorway. Man, those doors. What did I tell you guys earlier about those doors? I told you. Those doors, man. You gotta watch out. You don't want to accidentally go back in them either. That's ooh, almost taking damage too. Slowly but surely making their way through the tank here. Uh, let's switch over to Macobra. He's probably already in Bowser's castle here. Not quite. Wow, he lost a lot of that lead with that P-switch. That is incredible, but it looks like he is going to be the first one. Four people are getting, or actually, I guess three people now are getting kicked off here. Because we already lost track. Get it? We lost track. All right, here we go, Macobra. No big slip-ups. If he loses Fire Flower, he will not take first place. First place is a big deal, okay? First place is a big deal. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Teeks is on his way to the castle. Everyone is there. Disaster not having a Fire Flower, though, is definitely, definitely going to put him in the last. That might actually do it for Disaster. Macobra doing a little slip-up in Bowser's castle here. Should be able to make it cleanly, though. All right, here we go. Disaster's going first. As soon as we get that confirmed kill on Bowser. Very nice. All right, multi-link. Hey, Macobra with the 11 17th in first place. GG. We have had someone different in first place every game except for two, I think. That's amazing. Stewie Cartman in second place. Good job, Stewie. Very nice. Only eight people can move forward, guys. JT not in third. Rupert in fourth. This is crazy. Teeks in fifth. We got... Oh, no. We only have a couple people left. Oh, my God. The anticipation right now. I don't want to switch the page. I don't want to switch the page. I don't want to switch. There we go. True hype for Mario in sixth place right there. Oh, my God. Maze Haze. One more person. Win. Windward. Oh, disaster. High Flyer and Super Sonic. Very unfortunate to you guys. I'm so sorry. We got the eight players, guys. Very nice. What do you say we get the eight runners going in the next race? All right, the final eight. Only four may progress. Three, two, one. We're gonna turn up the volume a little bit. Stu's got that low volume going on. All right, Macobra won the last race, so we got him going on for World One here. We got Macobra. Stewie Carbon, JT Knot, and Rupert. Rupert has been the comeback king for this. He was having a really, really bad race three, I think it was, race two or three, but he somehow managed to bring it back. I mean, this is just incredible, uh, the comeback he's doing right now. JT Knot had a little bit of slip up with his internet, but also at the same time, he managed to not let it get the best of him. And as you can see, he's still in the race. Macobra, though, out of nowhere, coming in first place on his race four, if I uh, am correct, race three or four. Um, but let's talk about Teeks for a second. Teeks coming in, getting a 10.55 in his first race, first place. I'm pretty sure Teeks came in first place on his second race. And then all of a sudden, Teeks is getting three hands, taking damage. He's, he's getting eighth places and... Six places, not quite the first place. So we got a comeback king and hopefully Teeks can uh, get it together here. I know the hands wasn't his fault, but a couple little slip ups on his side. Uh, not so bad though. Not so bad, really good from all of our players so far. All right, we got Stewie Cartman grabbing the whistle first. Rupert gonna be uh, the fourth here. JT Not Macobra is synced right now, almost perfectly. Movement of one versus a movement of two though. First hand experience, you guys can see exactly what a movement of one versus movement of ten, uh, two looks like. Taking the slave orb strat, I like it. Nice leaf grab from Stu. Rupert taking a slow, slow route. Everyone taking the slow route, I like it. Okay, here we go. Stu's gonna be the first one to warp out of here. All right, we're going into world eight. Uh, let's take a look at our other runners. Wow, okay, so it looks like all the runners did not make any big mistakes in World 1. So the first things first is going to be the Fire Flower grab on the Navy, and then it's going to be the hands. But if you will excuse me for one second, I will be right back, guys. All right, I made it back in time for the Fire Flower grabs, and it looks like Teeks is going to get it. Hyper Mario, again, not going to get it. That's two times. Maze Haze gets it. And Windward does not get it. So uh, we are kind of close to setting the course of what's going to happen here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our other runners here. Macobra not getting it. Oh, man. That is some big things right there. That is some big things right there. I think five of them got the Fire Flower and three of them didn't. I bet you all of these runners could use a juicy 
$420 for playing Mario 3. I think anyone at this point could probably use $420 playing Mario 3. So let's keep this up. Stewie's going to be the first to enter the pipe. He's going to be the first one that we watch cross the hands. Makover's going to have to go for the stomp. Not bad compared to Rupert, though. As you can see, yeah, still staying a little bit ahead. JT not as well. Okay, so Stewie Cartman. Is he going to get pulled in by the hands? Ah, oh, Stewie Cartman gets no hands. No way. JT not gets pulled in by hand. McCobra gets pulled in by third hand. And Rupert gets first hand. Stewie's game to win. And it looks like everyone on the other screen got pulled in by hands. This is Stu's game to win. This is Stewie's opportunity for the top four. This is for the top four. All right, Teeks got pulled in by two hands right there. True Hyper Mario. Maze got one hand. True Hyper, one hand as well. Windward with two hands. Ah, that sucks. That is too much. Let's go back to our other runners right here. Stu is nervous. Do not choke, Stu. Luckily, Stewie can't hear me, but Stewie is very good at letting good things and runs get the best of him. So he's been running this category. He just recently PB'd, and I want to see him just take it nice and slow. Like, do your strats. Don't overthink it. Odds are everyone else got hands. You're, you'll make the top four. No need to be risky. No need to be crazy. You got this, Stu. All right, 8-1 for Stu right now. See how he does. Nice, he knows the strats. Very nice. Uh, Stewie's PB is a 110.48, I think he just got. Very nice for Macobra. got his Fire Flower back. Finished the airship for Macobra. that's really good. Rupert and JT Not just about to finish it right here. I have no idea who's gonna be in the last of these ones. Stewie Carbon on 8-2 right now. Teeks finishing the airship. True Hyper Mario already finished. Maze Haze already on 8-1 and Windward. Oh, Maze Haze has made that mistake every single time, I think. Almost every single time he's made that mistake. This is bad for Maze Haze right now. He's trying though. Oh, he just made it. All right, let's go back to Stu really quick. Did Stu take damage here? He did not. He is going on to the fortress. He's got his star right now. Very nice. He's going in the doorway right now. We got Macobra on 8-2. We have Rupert and JT not finishing 8-1 right now. Very nice for Macobra using those music notes like a boss. Ah, losing his P-Speed though. That's okay. That's okay. JT not and Rupert both need that. Stewie with a clean duck under. So Stewie's about to start his... Oh, and Rupert takes that damage. Luckily, he can get his Fire Flower back in the Fortress. Let's go ahead and pause this, move on to our other runners. We have True Hyper Mario starting the Fortress. Uh, we have Maze Haze starting the Fortress. Teeks finishing 8-2. Maze Haze is gonna gotta get that Fire Flower here. It's gonna bring him behind a little bit compared to Teeks on this, just a little bit. Yeah, look at Teeks right there with them now. Missed the H jump. Teeks takes the lead on that one. Windward coming in 8-2. And true Hyper Mario on the Fortress. Looking pretty good. Maybe, I mean, that could have been intentional from Rupert. Sure, sure. Yeah, probably. I mean, if that's what you're comfortable with, right? That's that's how you do it. Okay, it looks like everyone... This is insane. Everyone, unless somebody takes damage on Bowser or something, everyone's going to finish at the same time. Unfortunately, Windward is... A little too far behind right now. It looks like his nerves might have got the best of him. Uh, Rupert finishing. Uh, Stewie coming in on the super tank here. All right, here we go. Stewie's going to be the first one to enter Bowser's Castle. Absolutely killing it this race. Very good for him. Unfortunately, why couldn't he get no hands on the last race? Right? Think about it. He's one race away where he needs the no hands. Oh! Hits his head on the ceiling. Oh, he missed the duck clip. He got the first clip, though. That was crazy. All right, Macobra's uh, finishing up Super Tank. JT not and Rupert not far behind. Oh. All right, Stu has a fire kill away from winning this race. First place. The fire kill away. Hey, give it up to Stu in first place. I'm so proud of you, Stu.
Stewie is very good at making a lot of mistakes when he's doing really well in a race and it's finally good to see him clutch out a race and call it his. Let's go ahead and take a look at the winners here. Stewie wins first place with a 10.54. Not only is that first place, but that is the fastest race we've had today. Who is going to join Stu in the finals here? Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, we could have watched a little bit, but this is just way too intense. I mean, somebody's already finished. Macabre, JT, not true. Hyper Mario are going to be the top four. They are going to be the top four. Yo, give it up a GG. Guys, give up a GG for all the runners today so far. Let's start the finals. Here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one here we go everyone's audio is a little like cut off there we go perfect da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Dum. okay so stewie carbon on the left but cobra making a little bit of flub the pressure is too much the pressure is too much the problem the problem with making a mistake this early on though is this is about number one no one's getting kicked out here. There's only one winner here. True Hyper Mario taking a safe grab in the mushroom first. Not taking any damage, that's good. Practicing, preparing. JT not hitting that P-switch, not using it though. That is a sin. That is a Mario sin. I've been guilty of it myself. Looks like everyone's having it nice and clean. Very nice. Gonna move my webcam over a little bit. The unevenness is driving me crazy. All right, looking good. Stewie Cartman. Gonna get that mushroom, nice. Macobra going for the slow strat. I, th I think it's definitely worth it. And it looks like Stu is going to... Oh! Right on the edge. Will he go through? He does go through. Wow, that was scary. All right, True Hyper Mario, Macobra, JT Not. Yo, Stewie's going to be the first one. Can you imagine if all four runners get no hands? That will be crazy. This is it. This is for the grand prize. $420. For some people, that's rent money, man. Imagine paying... Imagine paying rent with Mario 3 earnings. That's my life goal. That's what I want to help everyone else do. Nice, nice, nice leaf grab. Nice, true hyper Mario. Macobra's still a little bit behind, but within hands range, right? That's all that matters. That's all that matters, within hand range. All right, so he's gonna be the first one to go. JT Not close behind. True hyper Mario, coming in third. It's so weird seeing all the, all the clouds or all the tornadoes go, but like, they're all different. Very nice. Stewie's gonna be the first one to enter the tank. JT Not's gonna be second. True Hyper is gonna be third, and Macobra is gonna be fourth. He's nobody is behind by enough to say that they've lost yet. So I want to see Macobra change change that negativity if he's thinking about it to a positive. Right? It's not over yet. We're gonna see who's gonna do some D lag strats on the tank, and what that means is they're gonna destroy enough enemies that there's not too many enemies on the screen so that it doesn't slow down. So you can see Cartman right now, destroying them so that, yep, JT not doing the same thing, True Hyper Mario doing the same thing, and Macobra not doing the same thing. So watch Macobra's screen. Ooh, that slowdown. That's gonna push him back just a little bit more uh, compared to the other three runners, but not enough, not enough to make a big deal about it. Although not getting the Fire Flower, I think is enough to make a big deal. However, Stewie is still in this and he's lost his Fire Flower. True Hyper Mario has lost his Fire Flower. He's still in this, okay? So it's not the end of the world. All right, here we go. It's all about the Fire Flower grab here now. Very nice on Stu. That fly strat is just so beautiful. Oh, JT not. Oh, True Hyper Mario. And Macobra, oh, so this, Macobra just came in second. M M er, didn't come in second, but Macobra just, like, he's in second now for sure. After the boom boom, all that time lost Macobra did, not a big deal. But remember what we said before, we've had runners lose Fire Flower, but when those runners lost Fire Flower, that was not when it was top number one win. That was, they had, they had, like, room to, you know, lose time, but still win. So this is, um... That's when those mistakes start to become more and more important. I'm ready for some juicy hands. Here we go. You guys get a good look to see how quick the fire kill is versus stomping now. Yeah, so Macobra is not going to be in, fur or in second directly, but you'll, you'll be able to notice a difference. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Stewie's gonna be first. No way! Stewie got no hands again! What? Oh my god! And true Hyper Mario got no hands! Two people got no hands! What? What? Those odds are so much lower than having 35 people playing and like one person get no hands. This is crazy. True Hyper knows he's made a slight mistake, but he's right on the brink right there. Stewie is shitting his pants right now. Two games in a row, two no hands. This is it. This is for the win. This is for the win. True Hyper Mario though, just gotta get that fire flower. He's gotta hope that Stewie makes a mistake. JT not, not too far behind. Macobra getting two hands. Gonna be really hard for Macobra to bring this back. He's just gotta make sure he plays tight and hopes that the other runners make some mistakes. And that's what's gonna happen right here. This is, Stewie is gonna have to show us that he can maintain his skills under a lot of pressure. This is like world record pace. Here we go. Stewie's gonna be first here. True Hyper, I don't know where he's gonna get his Fire Flower. Okay. Very nice for Stu. That's the harder level. That's one of the hardest things. Nice, True Hyper Mario's gonna go for the star. That's good, he's gonna keep it up. So that means he's not gonna lose that much time here. He's not gonna lose much time here. Makobra cleaning up the Air Force again. Really hoping that the other runners make big mistakes. JT not also only getting one hand, so it's not that bad. He's gonna get Fire Flower in 8 1 instead of 8 Fortress. He's gonna get that P Speed right there. Stewie. Oh, Stewie loses his P Speed right there, but he does not take damage, so he's okay. Oh my god, Stewie almost takes the death. I swear to god, he was so close to taking a death there. That was crazy. True Hyper Mario, gonna damage boost. You can't go all the way through, you're gonna have to wait. Oh my god, Macobra doing a little bit of bad movement there in 8 1, but he's still keeping it. He doesn't take damage. Stewie using his star in the fortress right here. Okay. Here we go. JT Knot making good work of 8 2 as well. Keeping it tight, man. He's keeping it strong here. It's not so bad. True Hyper is going to have to do some double power up shenanigans. He's not going to allow it. He's not going to allow it to like catch up to Stu. I mean, you can see Stu is just flying through here. Um, I don't know. At this point, I don't know what uh, what it's going to be. Uh, JT not taking damage there. I think intentional. That's fine. Or actually, no. He had Fire Flower. Not intentional. Okay. Macobra finishing 8-2. And Stewie going on. Ooh, bumping on the overworld map. I don't know about that, man. All right. True Hyper Mario is going to finish up the Fortress. As you can see, True Hyper Mario is easily a solid 15 seconds or more behind. So this is going to be... Uh, a true Hyper Mario can win this if Stewie loses his Fire Flower at any point here. That is... That is how it goes. It is not over yet. All of these runners need some Fire Flower losing here. That's how it needs to go. That's that's what true Hyper Mario is looking for. Okay, Macobra very far behind right now. I'm not sure what he's going to have to do. Even Stewie losing his Fire Flower, I don't think... Uh, Macobra can bring this back, but we will see. I mean, Stewie is what? Maybe, I don't know, 40 seconds ahead? We'll see. Very nice. Um, yeah, so this is it. What a fantastic last race so far. That is true. JT not barely in third place with the one hand, right? Couple little slip-ups, but Stewie left no room for anyone to take first place from him. He left no room. I am so proud of all my runners. That's right, you guys are all my runners. My big Mario 3 family. You guys all did amazing, man. You guys all came out. I was impressed by a whole bunch of runners I've never seen before. I was impressed by a whole bunch. Oh my God. Okay, shut up, bitch. No. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's going for the clip. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, Stu, don't miss the clip. He got it. Oh my God, this is crazy. Is Stu gonna PB? I don't think he can PB, can he? All right, this is it. This is it, it's all Bowser here. 
Bowser's jumping early. Oh my god! We have JT not in true hyper Mario not far behind. Synced up right now. Stewie, oh my god, it's gonna take first place. He actually did it, dude. That is incredible. GG to Stewie Cartman, True Hyper Mario, and JT Knot right now facing off for second place. They're both fighting Bowser. Can they get a bad fire pattern from Bowser? I don't think so. JT Knot going backwards. True Hyper Mario is going to take second place. JT Knot is going to take third place. And Macobra is going to take fourth place. Wow! So proud of our runners right there. Congratulations to everyone. Macobra coming in with a, oh, Macobra got the clip with an 11.45 in fourth place. Everyone did a fantastic job. I couldn't have asked for a better last race, guys. Everyone keep an eye out for Battle Royale number three. I have no clue when it's gonna be. I have no idea when it's gonna be. I haven't even thought about it. Wow. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really enjoyed my content, do not forget to subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. Thank you all for watching.